Good day everyone! For today's lesson, we will talk about Volhard's method. But before proceeding, let's know first our learning objectives. First, describe the Volhard's method and then identify the formation of the colored precipitate at the endpoint. Volhard's method was first reported in 1874 by German chemist Jacob Volhard. This technique determines halide ions such as fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, and anions such as phosphates and chromates in acidic environments using silver ions. The Volhard method is an indirect or back titrations method in which an excess of a standard solution of silver nitrate is added to a chloride containing sample solution. The excess silver is then back titrated using a standardized solution of potassium or ammonium thiocyanate with ferric ion as an indicator. The amount of silver is precipitated with chloride in the sample is calculated by subtracting the excess silver from the original silver content. The titration is performed in an acidic solution. If the Volhard titration is not performed in an acidic solution, it will precipitate as hydrated oxide. Brick red color marks the endpoint of the Volhard method. Now let's proceed to the formation of a colored precipitate at the endpoint. First, excess silver nitrate is added to the chloride solution to produce silver chloride which is a white precipitate shown in the first picture. When all chloride ions are reacted, filtration is performed to filter the precipitate and the filtrate is titrated against sodium thiocyanate which is placed in the burette. Some amount of ferric iron solution is also added to the conical flask as the indicator of this titration. When thiocyanate ions are added to the excess silver ions from the previous reaction, they produce a white precipitate, a silver thiocyanate. Now, when all excess silver ions have precipitated in this reaction, the excess thiocyanate ions will then react with the ferric iron that was present in a conical flask. This will form a metal complex with a distinct brick red color iron thiocyanate. This is what we see in the third picture. The formation of this brick red color marks the endpoint of a Volhard's method. The advantages of using Volhard method are it can analyze direct silver and indirect halide and has a very distinct color change. This method is useful where titration is to be carried out at low pH. The strong acidic conditions give an advantage for analysis halide since ions such as carbonate, oxalate, and arsenate do not interfere and it can provide accurate results due to back titration. So the three big ideas to end this topic are The Volhard's method is an indirect or back titration method in which an excess of a standard solution of silver nitrate is added to chloride containing sample solution. Ferric iron is the indicator of this method and the formation of brick red color marks the endpoint of Volhard's method. So for my comment, there's no ways that I would like Miss Landiao to improve, continue, or stop doing when discussing the topic that was assigned to me because it is precise and concise. Also, maybe giving precise and concise discussion that everyone will understand is the thing that I would like Miss Landiao to continue doing. So that's all for my discussion. Thank you and have a good day.